Hi, so let me simplify a topic which all of you find so difficult to understand. RH, negative pregnancy. Now, first before we do what is RH negative pregnancy, what are RH antigens? See, RH antigens, there are five RH antigens, small c, capital C, capital D, capital E and small e, right? Now, amongst these RH antigens, these five RH antigens, the most important one is the capital D antigen. If capital D antigen, if it is present, then we say that the person is RH positive. And if it is absent, then we say that the person is RH negative, right? Now, other important points which you should remember about RH antigen is, number one, where are these RH antigens located? These RH antigens, they are located on the short arm of, uh, of uh, chromosome number one. Short arm of chromosome number one. Number two, these RH antigens, they were discovered by Landstainer and Werner. Right, so it was Landstainer who had discovered these RH antigens. So we are sorted. What is meant by RH positive? It means if D antigen is present. What is meant by RH negative? It means that RH antigen is absent. Right? Now, what do you mean by RH negative pregnancy? RH negative pregnancy means that the mother is RH negative, but the fetus which it is carrying is RH positive. Now, if this is the case, then yes, there is a problem, right? But on the other hand, if you have a mother who is RH negative and a fetus who is also RH negative, then there is no problem, right? So, in RH negative pregnancy, the problem arises only if mother is RH negative, but the fetus which she is carrying, that is RH positive, right? So, this means that if somehow I can come to know whether the fetus is RH positive or RH negative, I can come to know whether this falls in a high risk pregnancy or not, because if both mother and uh, uh, fetus are RH negative, I can sit back and relax, right? So, how am I going to know whether the fetus is RH positive or whether the fetus is RH negative? One very easy way to know that is through the husband's blood group, so through that female's husband's blood group, right? So, if the husband of the pregnant lady, he is also RH negative and the wife is also RH negative, then there are 100% chances that the fetus will be RH negative, right? So, in that case, I am not worried at all. But if husband, excuse me, if husband is RH positive and wife is RH negative, then there can either be 50% chances that the fetus is going to be RH positive or there will be 25% chances whether the fetus is going to be RH positive depending upon whether the husband is homozygous or heterozygous for this D antigen, right? But in any case, whether there are 50% chances or whether there are 25% chances, chances are there. In that case, the fetus can be RH positive and then I am worried, right? So, if I ask you that what is the first investigation which you should do whenever an RH negative female comes to you? So, the first investigation which should be done whenever RH negative pregnant female comes to you is husband's RH status. Because if husband is RH negative, then no problem at all, right? 
Now, why am I saying that there is a problem if mother is Rh negative and fetus is Rh positive? Right? So, let's just draw their blood cells. These are the blood cells of the mother. These are the blood cells of the fetus. Now, the fetal blood cells, they have antigen, which is Rh antigen. Right? This Rh antigen is not present in the mother's uh, RBCs. Now, due to any reason, which could be any reason, if fetal blood enters mother's circulation, right? So, there are circumstances where the chances of fetal blood entering into mother's blood increases. I'll be telling you about that. But due to any reason, suppose fetal blood enters the mother's blood. Now, what is going to happen? Now, this is fetal RBC. This fetal RBC has an antigen which mother's RBC did not have. So, mother's immune system is going to take this Rh antigen as a foreign antigen. So, this will act as a foreign antigen for the mother's immune system. And this Rh antigen will stimulate the mother's immune system. And what will mother's immune system do? Mother's immune system will form Rh antibody. That is anti D, right? So, mother's immune system is going to form Rh antibodies, that is anti D. Initially, we know that initially when the antibodies are formed, they are IgM antibodies, right? And then over a period of 5 to 6 months, IgG antibodies are formed, right? It is IgG antibodies which can cross the placenta. IgM antibodies cannot cross the placenta. Right? So, by the time IgG antibodies are formed, this patient has already delivered. Right? So, this fetus will have no problem because by the time this fetus delivered, by that time, none of the antibody entered into the fetal circulation. Why? Because it takes 6 months from IgM antibodies to form IgG antibodies. IgM antibodies, they cannot cross the placenta. Whereas, IgG antibodies can cross the placenta. Right? So, that is why first pregnancy is safe. In case of Rh negative mothers, right? Now, what happens in the subsequent pregnancies? In subsequent pregnancies, same mother we are talking about. In subsequent pregnancy, if this mother who was Rh negative, again she had a fetus, who was Rh positive, right? And due to some reason, again, so these are mother's RBCs and these smaller ones are fetal RBCs, right? Fetal RBCs have Rh antigen, right? Now, due to any reason, if fetal blood enters into mother's blood, Right? So, I am showing you this small fetal cells, they have entered mother's blood. Right? And again, they have Rh antigen. Again, this Rh antigen is going to stimulate mother's immune system. So, it will stimulate mother's immune system. Why? Because it will act as a foreign antigen, right? And now mother's immune system is already prepared, 
right because in the first pregnancy also it had got a foreign antigen and now this time it is already prepared it knows that this something like this might happen right so now it is going to produce igm antibodies quickly quickly igm antibodies will be produced against the rh antigen and quickly the igm antibodies will change into ig g antibodies and this reaction is going to happen very quickly right this is called as the amnestic response so very quickly the igm antibodies they changed into igg antibodies and we know that igg antibodies can cross the placenta so this black line if this is the placenta this is the placenta right now these igg antibodies they will enter into fetal circulation right now these antibodies they are against which antigen they are antibodies against rh antigen and on all the fetal cells this rh antigen is present right so these antibodies which were formed in large numbers they will enter the fetal circulation and an antigen antibody reaction is going to occur right and where will this antigen antibody reaction will occur this antigen antibody reaction will occur on the fetal rbcs and this is going to lead to hemolysis so the fetal rbcs will break down because of this antigen antibody reaction right so the problem is happening in the fetus but the antibodies were formed in the mother this is why this is called as rh isoimmunization what do you mean by the term isoimmunization isoimmunization means that the antibodies formed in one individual they are leading to a problem in the other individual right so here the antibody was formed in the mother but the problem it is leading to a problem in the fetus right so in rh negative pregnancies the problem is in the fetus it is harmful for the fetus for the mother it's not a problematic situation why because she doesn't have the d antigen she doesn't have rh antigen right so in the mother nothing is going to happen whatever problem will happen that will happen in the fetus and what is that problem happening in the fetus the problem which is happening in the fetus is hemolysis